How's it going, Refuge? Pastor Shaddy here, and I get to do a Refuge Devo with you guys today. Um, if you guys have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Psalm 119. Pro I'm pretty sure that's it. Psalm 119. Um, Psalm 118 is an awesome, awesome chapter. It is known for many things. I'm going to share two of them with you right now. Um, it is known for being the longest chapter in the Bible, right? It is, I think it's 170, 176 verses. That's right, 176 verses. And it is also known um, for being all about God's word. For example, almost every single one of those 176 verses mentions God word in some way. It, it, it would say, you know, your word, your ways, your statutes, your decrees, your law, your precepts, your commands, your promises. Like every verse almost mentions something about God's word. And it's clear that this, this psalmist, we're not even sure who it was. Um, a lot of uh, commentators are leaning towards Ezra the prophet, right? And... Um, uh, uh, you know, this this person is just holding on with everything they have to God's word. He, he, he talks about or, you know, they talk about just how important the word of the Lord is to this psalmist. And it's it's such a beautiful, beautiful psalm. And um, I, I'm not going to cover 176 verses with you today. Um, we're only going to cover one verse, Psalm um, um, 18. Verse 18, Psalm 119, verse 18, promise. Stay with me, come on. Here's what it says. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Now I'm, I'm sharing this with you because this is my prayer. You know, we make New Year's resolutions and here we are, we're, we're, we're going strong in the month of January. Um, but this is my prayer for, for me and, and for you. You know, when we open up and we read the word, I, I'm, I, I want a nugget. I want some treasure. I, I want to pull out something great. And uh, apparently, and I, I know you do too, but we're, we're not even alone. You know, the, 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 if this is Ezra, um, Ezra wants it too. He says, open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. The, the word law is Torah, which, which is it's your word. It's the, the word of the Lord. Um, so this, this tells me two things. Number one, it tells me that the word of God is indeed filled with wonderful things. Things. And, and the word wonderful means marvelous, amazing, great, difficult to comprehend, right? That's, that's what that means. Do, do you feel that way? Do you believe that every time you open up the Bible, you're on a treasure hunt to find one marvelous thing after another, one wonderful thing after another? Um, and the second thing that, that we see here is that, you know, if this is Ezra, the, the psalmist is asking for the Lord to open his eyes so that he may see it. So our default setting is not, you know, to go and, and to see all these wonderful things. We, we need the Lord to reveal these things to us. And so the psalmist is praying, Lord, open my eyes. And, and it's almost like we have this veil over us and, and we need the Lord to remove the veil and to show us um, just the beautiful, beautiful things that are that are in His Word, and um, I pray that that is um, our prayer, really. That that we would have this hunger, um, that when we open up the Word, um, we have this hunger of like, Lord, show me, Lord, show me what what do you want to say to me, Lord, show me what it is that you were doing in Ezra's life, or what what it is you were doing in King David's life for Jesus, or. You know, what, what is going on here? Show me the, the truth. Show me, you know, let's cut through the, the mystery and um, reveal these golden nuggets to me um, so that my life could be blessed. My life could be changed. My life um, could adapt to these wonderful principles and applications and I could just run with it. Um, 
So if you are in this situation where you're opening up your Bible and, you know, you're just checking, you know, checking the list, you know, oh, I got to read three chapters today to finish in a year, or I got to do this, or I got to do that. And, and there's no life, there's no fun, there's no, there's no joy in it. Then, then before you even start, just, just pray this, this little simple prayer, Lord, open my eyes that I may see the wonderful things in your law and, and watch what God's going to do. Watch what he's going to do. And, and I pray that you're going to be excited about his word and you're going to be hungry to devour it. And um, I pray that 2022 will be a wonderful year for you uh, to draw closer and closer and closer to the Lord your God. God bless you guys. Have a great, great day. Love you. Bye.